Today we take a look at a fellow, so phenomenal that any one of his uncountable number of successes, is worthy of great celebration. His course, like most who accomplish great things, started off as a gift to a child. His parents were both teachers and farmers in Southern California, and they noticed that he liked looking at rocks, even before he could put two words together. Having learned this decades ago, I keep interesting rocks in my collection, and when I am around youngsters, I give them a handful of assorted rocks, tell them that they can have one, and when the selection is made, I ask, what do you like best about your rock? It always turns into an interesting conversation, as I listen to the child. Gene's fascination with rocks and minerals alienated him a bit from his classmates, but with encouragement from his parents, he graduated with honors from high school by the age of 16, was accepted into Caltech's program, and finished there with a master's by the age of 20. The last few years, he was teaching labs to people who were younger than he was. Gene's PhD made the argument that the great crater in Arizona was from an impact, and not an extinct volcano as was believed. Gene went on to help us learn how to recognize other impact sites on the planet. Once we knew how to spot them, they started turning up all over the place. The most famous are the Chicxulub Crater, which polished off the dinosaurs, Cumberland Gap, which allowed the settlers to cross the Smoky Mountains, and the Nordlinger Rise site in Bavaria. It was even an impact that fused the sand into glass that was used to make the jewels for the pharaohs in Egypt. Gene trained the Apollo astronauts how to collect samples from the moon, and for a time, he even missed out on going there himself. Gene holds the distinction of being the only person buried on the moon. Gene proposed the idea that microbial life could hitch rides on asteroids and seed other planets. We have loads of meteorites that have impacted Earth, and we know that they came from Mars. Gene, his wife, and another fellow discovered the comet, Shoemaker-Levy 9, that slammed into Jupiter in 1994. It was the first time that scientists were able to watch a comet hit another planet. The impact was 400 million times more energetic than the bomb that was dropped on Japan, but it was 16 times less than the impact that killed off the dinosaurs, 65 million years ago. Gene Shoemaker was a fantastic man and astrogeologist. In fact, he was the very first astrogeologist. He is one of the few people to have established a new scientific discipline. And it all started at a very young age. We are reminded once again, that sometimes a gift to a child is much more than just a gift. Encourage children.